In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Wii U emulator, Simu, and I will be using Windows 11. Okay, let's head on over to the official page of Simu. I will leave the link to this page in the description below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on download latest version. This will then take you over to the Simu GitHub page. And as the recording of this video, the latest version you can get is 2.5. Go ahead and click right here where it says assets. And then you will see your download right here for Windows. Once you click on it, your download will start. Also, we will need this program. If you don't already have 7-Zip installed on your PC, then I will leave the link to this page in the description below. We will be using this to extract the emulator. I have saved the Simu file here on my desktop. You guys can save it wherever you like, whether that be an SSD, external SSD, hard drive, or external hard drive. It's up to you. Also here on my desktop, I have a folder containing some Wii U ROMs. And I am sorry guys, I cannot tell you where to download Wii U ROMs, but if you check out my Patreon page, link in the description below, I have a video there called USB Helper that can help you out with this. Okay, let's go ahead and extract our Simu file. Assuming you have 7-Zip installed, all you want to do is right click on it, go to show more options, 7-Zip, and extract to Simu. This is gonna create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file, so we can go ahead and right click and delete it. Now let's open that folder. And this file here will be the emulator. Let's open it. Now your game path will be wherever you have your Wii U ROMs located. So go ahead and click on browse and locate wherever you have your Wii U ROMs, in my case on my desktop in that folder called Wii U ROMs. Then come down to select folder. Also, you wanna go ahead and download and configure graphic packs, which I will show you guys what these are later in the video. Once you click download, it will show you all of the games that have available graphics packs. Go ahead and exit out. Next. Now we can set up our controller, click on configure input, go ahead and create a profile name. This will be the name of that controller. I'll just call it P1. For your emulated controller, you wanna select Wii U gamepad. And the reason we're selecting Wii U gamepad, because for some games to start, it will require you to have a Wii U gamepad attached. Now come down to controller, go over to API, now I have tested an Xbox One, Xbox Series, PlayStation 5, and Switch Pro controller with this emulator. All of those controllers work. If you are using an Xbox controller, then you wanna select X input. If you are using a PlayStation 5 or Switch Pro controller, then you wanna select direct input. As for any other controllers you may have, you would just have to try them out and see if they work with this emulator. And if they don't work under direct input, then you may wanna try SDL controller. Since I am currently using an Xbox controller, I'm gonna select X input. And for controller, it's gonna be controller one. Click add, and you will notice that the emulator will map your controller out for you. Now, if you wanna change some of the buttons, then you can just come down here, click on the button you wanna change. It will be highlighted orange, and then click whatever button you want to change. And it will try to go through all of your buttons to remap all of them, but if you only wanted to change that one, then we are good. We can come up here to save. This way our controller profile for controller one will be saved. If you have multiple controllers connected to your PC, then you can just come up here and choose your next controller, controller two, three, four, and so on. We can exit out. Go ahead and check the box next to start games with full screen so that all of our games start in full screen and close. Now let's go up to options, general settings, and go over to graphics. Now you shouldn't need to change anything here. Everything at default settings will work perfect. Just make sure that your graphics API is set on Vulkan. Now, if you have an older GPU and CPU, then you may wanna try OpenGL if you are not getting good performance with Vulkan. 
Make sure your graphics device is set to your actual graphics card if your PC has one and not your CPU. For VSync, you can leave this off if you have already tried a game and your game is not getting any screen tear. If you are experiencing screen tear, then you can go ahead and turn this on double buffering. Leave your upscale filter on bicubic and your downscale filter on bilinear and keep aspect ratio. Now let's go over to overlay and down here under notifications, we're gonna go ahead and uncheck the box next to shader compiler. Because while you're playing your games, a lot of shaders will be loading in and the emulator will be giving you notifications. This will stop that. And that's really all we need to change here. Let's go ahead and exit out. Now I'm going to show you how to edit your game's graphic packs. Now, each game will have its own graphics packs. Some games will have 60 FPS mods, resolution upscale, or just simple fixes in that particular game. For example, if I go up to Bayonetta, you wanna right click on the game, go to edit graphics packs. And all of your graphics packs will be shown over here to the left. Now something I wanna change on this game is the graphics. So I'm gonna check right here next to resolution and I wanna upscale this game from 720p up to 1440p because that's my monitor's resolution. And like I said, every game will have their own set of graphics packs and some games may have no graphics packs. And if you wanna make sure your packs are up to date, then come down to download latest community graphics packs. Now I'm going to show you how to add DLC and update files. And I'll use Sonic Lost World as an example. So under the DLC column, you see that Sonic has nothing. And right now the version is zero. So let's go up to file, install game titles, updates, or DLC. I have both on my desktop. I'll do the DLC first. I have some in this folder. And when you open your folder containing DLC, you want to select meta. Do not open that folder, just select it, and then come down to select folder. Title installed, okay. Now if we look under the DLC column next to Sonic Lost World, it says 32. Now let's do our update file. We'll go back up to file, install game title updates or DLC. That update file is also on my desktop in this folder, Sonic Update, and we're gonna do the same thing. Select that meta folder, do not open it and come down to select folder. Title installed, okay. And now if we look under that version column, you'll see that Sonic Lost World is version 48. So that was just an example to show you guys how to upload DLC files and update files. If you do want to play Sonic Lost World, I will tell you that the game does not run well with this emulator. On the other hand, Bayonetta and Tekken Tag Tournament 2 runs very well, but I didn't have any DLC files for these games. So I'll load up Tekken Tag Tournament 2. But first, let's right click on it, check our edit graphics packs, I'll select resolution, and I'll turn this up to 1440. Thank you guys for watching, I hope the video was helpful, if it was make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.